Hello everybody and welcome back to the House of Storm and welcome back finally to some tavern talk. It's because I apologize for the delay on these videos. I've been playing a lot of Dark and Darker. But now we are finally back with some more tavern talk and let's go back to being the best magical bartender we can be. Good mythical morning. You shut the hell up. <laughs> Get out of my bar. It's well past noon. Still morning somewhere. Not in this world. Plus, a wizard doesn't care about things like time. Time's not only relative, but also flexible. Like a gummy worm. One time, I just tried breaking through space-time continuum using a loophole through the vortex. And, did it work? No. But almost, I would have needed a drip of Primordial Sea to enhance the curvature, and that should have done it. But... No access to the Primordial Sea. Bummer. I heard that's not very easy to get. Theopractically it is. Theopractically? Practically in theory. Duh. Ah, that makes sense. I get it. You do? No. That's to be expected. No offense, but you clearly aren't a wizard. And who are you to judge that? Well, you know, just a reputable wizard myself. Of course, also a magnificent wizard name, but you can call me Hex. No need to over overcomplicate things. I'm gonna call you Dickbag. Nice to meet you, Hex. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Just Innkeeper for now. Alright. Well then, Innkeeper, how about a super wheezy breezy drink for me? Any flavors you might fancy? Maybe something, hmm... Something make me focus more and perhaps help me understand the Primordial Vortex. Gotcha. That has been a while, so I'm gonna need the menu. Okay, he wants something with brain power. Let's see... That has brain power and charisma. Okay, this is really the only one that has Chris or uh, intelligence. So I'm just gonna put this all the way here, and then a little bit of this. Here you go. This should boost your focus like nothing else. Amazing, I can already feel the ideas cooking up. I think I figured out a way to get that primordial seawater too. Never mind, the explanation would be too complex to grasp, so... Oh yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> what complex brings you to my tavern, Hex? Eh, I'm getting away from the other smartest person in Asteria. And who would that be? Doesn't matter. You tell me. My sister. She's studying and driving me crazy with all her theories. They are so reasonable, you know. No chaos. There has to be a bit of chaos in everything, doesn't there? I wonder how she gets through life with so much structure. Whoa. Hello, my good sir. Structure is the key to everything, young lad. Without structure, there's no chaos, and thus, there's no entropy. I found entropy to be quite essential in the world. And you are? Well, how rude of me. Top of the morning to you, lad, and to you, innkeeper. Is it? Correct. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm... Uh, I suppose you may call me Scully. <coughs> My actual living name would be too ancient to be spoken out loud. I'm an archivist. At least I used to be. Now I'm dead. Somewhat. Not completely, obviously. Under mysterious circumstances, I happen to still be conscious. So you're undead. Precisely. How? Well, I passed on, and one day I rose from my grave. It was like a long sleep, completely knackered for thousands of years. At least I believe it's been thousands of years. What year is it? 1755. 
Shit, that's brutally long. So how did you come back to life? Not too sure myself. I woke up and walked on like nothing have happened. I thought to myself, might as well explore the world anew. Those who risen with me didn't seem to be inhabited by an independent consciousness. And alas, didn't care. Those who'd risen with you? There are more like you out there? Of course, undead rarely rise alone. They mostly serve a master. Right. Here's Hex, he's a half-elf, he's 48. He, him, he's a wizard, chaotic neutral. Scully, skeleton, we don't know his age, he is he, him. Chaotic neutral, the magician. Alright, decided not to bother with that and go on my own way. Going south, I passed through Zoford and found a small little tavern. A bit like this one, more nautical in style. They had a lot of fish, never been a fan of seafood. Though, I got to listen to a lot of the town's gossip. Care to fill me in, that Zoford gossip? Well, apparently, a well-known noble married a commoner and decided to run off with her, leaving the family without an heir. But there's more! Fishermen fear that Zoford has been cursed by a sea witch. They say the docks are being haunted by lonely animals that stare blankly at the waves and the moon all night. And during the day, they disappear like ghosts. Bit of a weird curse. Been in for any sea, I miss that. Fury Sea Witch or Wild Sailor's Tail. Okay. So I don't have anything really matching yet. I, there's an update that apparently is going to change the minigame, or you can change it to where there's no colors. And Keeper, say, do you have a drink for this undead fella? A drink and a mop? Just a drink. I won't be needing a mop. If you say so, what would you like? Something that'll loosen up this non-existent tongue. Something full of charm and appeal. Coming right up. You want so charisma. You're gonna want this spoken heart. All right, full charisma. Little bit of strength. Little bit of defense. You got yourself a spoken heart, my undead friend. A real charmer, just for you. Jolly, I feel like I can conquer worlds with my words alone. Oh. Not that I would ever do that. I care more about words than worlds. Archivist things, you know? I spent most of my life reading, sorting, archiving. And I didn't leave a lot of time for dreams of hubris. Are you sure academic hubris is a powerful one? Come on now. That type hardly counts. Agreed. It's only natural. Oh, I think you give me an idea, Bone Man. I did. Yes, if I can enhance the aging process of cells, the incubation procedure could... Alright, I gotta go. My sister asked if you seen me. No, you didn't. Oh, I'm telling her I seen you right away. Right away, I'm telling her. Energetic young fella. He's almost 50. Indeed. Yeah. Come on, Keeper. I'd like to linger here a bit and enjoy the moment. Of course. Fable! And keep, how's it going? All fine and dandy. How about you, Fable? Still very busy helping the farmers rebuild their barns and fences. Also, apparently a bunch have lost their crops due to how hot the stars were. It's terrible. Seeing all this destruction is terrible. I've never seen anything like this before, either. <laughs> Historically, the Lady of the Gilded Sea never struck me as someone to unleash baneful omens. Uh, apologies, my manners. It's impolite to burst into a conversation like just like that. I'm Scully. Fable. Nice to meet you, Fable. Again, my apologies for the impulsivity. 
That's all right. I was just surprised you could actually talk. Oh, uh, no offense. I just thought, um, usually... None taken. Usually skeletons don't speak. Usually, but hardly anything is usual these days. I mean, the stars fell from the sky, skeletons might as well speak. There are stranger things in the world. There surely are. Like your drinks, and keep. That one really gurgled in my bones. So you tried one. Indeed. Sometimes they do that. Could you also make me a drink innkeeper? I don't want my bones to jingle, but something that enhances my finesse would be nice. You know, you have to be very delicate with zucchini seeds, or they'll give up immediately. Of course, coming right up. So what, you want a swift strike, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay, a little bit of intelligence. Just a little bit. A little bit of defense. And then the rest, agility. Oh. Trying to be fancy. That's a swift strike. Oh, this tastes refined enough. This is perfect. You know just what I need, Innkeeper. Of course I do. After all, you're my favorite regular. I... I am? Yes. And you're my favorite innkeeper. Thank you, Fable. So do you think your farm work will be done soon? Oh, I hope so. Not that I don't like helping them out, I do, but I think the sooner everyone can get back to normal life, the better. Do you perhaps need a hand? I happen to have two. I might know a thing or two about crops and fences. Sure, I could use some help carrying a few things over to Trungaren. My tree house is just around the corner. Splendid! Sounds like quite... So, so, sounds like a quite useful endeavor. I'll gladly indulge. Thank you. And keep before we go, I have something I wanted to give you. What do you have for me, Fable? Some dried honey flowers. The farmers didn't know how to thank me, so they gave me these flowers. You're always so helpful and nice, so I wanted to share them with you. I'm sure you already have at least four ideas on how to use them. Thank you very much, Fable. I'll make sure to put them to good use. Nice. So you accept donations for ingredients? Certainly. I can only get my hands on so many infusions myself. What about recipes themselves? It's always good to get more inspiration. Wonderful. In my prior life, I had access to a lot of books about magic and potion mixing. I think I still recall my assistant's favorite recipe. Do you store it under your hat? Of course. Whoa. Defense and agility. Where else would I keep it? Fair enough. Thank you for the recipe. Innkeeper, thanks for being such a patient and pleasant host. I shall be on my way then with Fable. But I'll be back. Should I not crumple into a pile of bones from one day to the next? Let's hope not. I won't. I'm just joking around. I hope I wouldn't want to be responsible for that. Anyways, Innkeeper, thank you so much. You're still the highlight of my day, no matter how dark the night. See you around. Let's go, Scully. No time to lose. Should be nighttime now. Nope, still daytime. Oh, they got their. Oh, Kyle got their cape back. Nice. That I was able to witness such rarity in my lifetime. Immaculate. He would get excited even about a rusty nail. Of course I would. Such a splendid chemical process. Metals have a variety of chemical processes. Rust be my least favorite of them. Ruins a lot of hard work. Does it now? Yep. Makes everything porous. Oh. Kyle, Rhea, nice to see you both again. Likewise, dear innkeeper, how has your day been? Can't complain. Had some interesting customers today. Ah, like that one distinguished gentleman who crossed us on our way in? Distinguished, yeah. Gentleman, don't know. Giant top hat doesn't make you a gentleman. What makes you a gentleman? Manners. He was quite polite, I recall. Greeted me with the tip of his hat. You find everyone polite, even your slime. But Mr. Slime is quite polite. What a peculiar wall clock you have there. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. It looks just like the clock in Evelyn's living room. 
I mean, all times I patiently waited for her to come home after important meetings and banquets. Do you know if that is her clock by any chance? I think that might be a story for another time. Let's not worry about it now, shall we? Okay. Saying, Keep, have you read that letter yet? That'd be a story I'd love to hear right now. Not yet, no. Tragic, I've always loved writing letters. <laughs> In Keep, you got a drink for me, something that'll make me tougher. So I can get through today's babbling. Of course. You want defense. I think this one I need an infusion for. Alright, where's my frosted lagoon? And then a little bit of strength. And a little bit of charisma. And there's your frosted lagoon. Now that's what I'm talking about. A gift from the great dragons. Well, thank you. I gave it my best. I can taste that. I feel sturdier already. Have me doubts about you, Inkeep, but I must say, you know your job. So how has the day been for you two? The usual. Splendid. It was my first day in centuries out under the rays of the sun. And how did you like it? It's brighter than I thought. The light of the sun, I mean. Rhea and I took a day trip to the capital, since I rarely get to see it full of daily life. There were so many people. Too many. Just the right amount for a city. It was so vivid, it almost made me feel alive. Everyone was able to admire my beautiful cape. Is that the cape? The cape of... invisibility? It absolutely is. How curious. Does that mean that you two are going to... Beruvia now? Huh? What would we want to go there? That was the deal. I help you get your cape. So you can attend that fancy Berevian vampire banquet and get me gold's worth. Oh. But I got that invitation about 500 years ago. Didn't I mention that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what about me material then? Well, I can give you the gold right now if you want. Can you accompany me a while longer, though? <laughs> Fine. Oh, wonderful. Every second I spend with you brings me tremendous joy. <laughs> what a great day to be a vampire. I got my cape back. I can walk under the sun like mortals do. Sandkeeper, what if, what if you thought of a new drink? One that would taste just as incredible as the gentle and welcoming beams of sunlight feel on your skin. That's kind of a vague description, but I think I might have something in mind already. Peak Sunrise. Ooh. Ah, wonderful. I wonder if my dear Evelyn would desire to walk in sunlight as well. Do you know how she is doing? Do you think I could pay her a visit? You shouldn't. I should. There smells like recrystallization. Do you think that's a good idea? It ain't. It is. Kyle, you've stolen her, your cape. Do you think she'll greet you with open arms? You know what she'd do if me ex-husband stole me hammer? What? Take it and smash all he holds dear. No one. No one takes what's mine. The cape is mine. She, is she the same opinion, you think? Oh, maybe you're right. It would be a shame to lose my cape again. All she have to do is ask, oh, my undead Evelyn. There's never been a wish of hers I've turned down, and I wouldn't to this day. I, wanna, I, I don't want to have whatever you have with her. I'd lose my mind. Well, yeah, I know. How much I miss her, my heart is aching. If that's all, maybe one day she'll reach out to me. I still miss her dearly. I shall miss her ever more looking toward the mountain's peak, knowing she's merely a, gra a gasp away. Maybe a drink could help for now. We lock some stuff for Kyle. Okay. You 
You would do that a drink for me? Of course. Something strong, please, dear innkeeper, so my heart may stop aching soon. Oh, we're on one. This one. He been pissed. Can't mend your broken heart, but perhaps this helps. It does. Thank you, dear innkeeper. Why don't you tell the innkeeper more about your day, hmm? Right. Suppose I wasn't done yet. Where was I? Your trip to the capital. Busy streets, bustling with people. Roots. 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 We admired the roots that enclosed the city almost like Rampart. Finally had a chance to take a closer look. Quite fascinating. For once, gotta agree. Let's me believe the myths are true. Myths? Myths. I've told you. Rumor has it these are roots of the Aether tree. Breaking through the surface and taking hold of Gaia, where they guard the capital. Ooh, another blue one. Very good defense plan indeed. What is wood going to do to protect a city? A city is protected with stone. Oh... I was never very involved in fortification efforts. I figured. Oh! Oh? We also met the lovely Seraph again. How are her investigations coming along? Very well. She seems eager and determined. A detective spirit. I believe the last made her way to DeWall. Seems to be on to something. Can't wait to hear the story when she returns. Likewise. Say, Rhea, can we go to town and check out the antique stealer? Oi, why? Let's see if I can find any keepsakes from the old times. Very well, then. But you won't munch on the shopkeep, will you? Of course not. I'm, well, satisfied from the innkeeper's creation. Alright, then. Let's go. Goodbye, innkeeper. Enjoy your shopping spree. Oh, who are you? Well met, adventurer. Do my eyes deceive me? Minthy in the flesh. Hello, darling innkeeper. It's good to see you again. That dog's head or... Okay, it's a dog, I hope. It certainly has been a while. Must be hitting that 15-year mark, right? It'll be 25 years soon, actually. Ah. You know, when it comes to keeping track of time, it spans longer than a decade. I'm well aware... Good that you have me to drop in from time to time to remind you, hmm? Couldn't be more grateful. Especially when you bring Casket and Kane along. Do cute service bees still get a discount here? Always. So what's brought you back to the area? It's not your usual haunt. No, I generally prefer something more... moist. Ha! Not the word I have used. Something akin to that. It's decidedly too arid around these parts for my taste. And here I thought I would get at least to enjoy the recent downpour, but no. The stuff that came pouring down was unique. That's one way to put it. Destructive is another, and possibly more accurate. But I'm glad to see that your tavern hasn't suffered the same fate as many of the streets and buildings I saw on my way here. Admittedly, the journey was already quite challenging to navigate with my wheelchair before. The scenery has always been worth the struggle. But now, I'm afraid it wasn't possible to take in much enjoyment from the passing landscape. I had to pay so much attention to not endanger myself and my sweet service beast. To your struggles while traveling before, I'm sorry to hear that recent events have made it worse. Oh well, we're here now, aren't we? I do have to say, using the primordial vortex as a way to skip your Verata stairs is a marvelous accessibility touch. Use your word, Storm. Quite the impressive work, my friend. Glad to hear that my little spells are doing their job. Hope the cities will put similar care into rebuilding the streets. Flatter cobblestones would do wonders for many people like me. Believe it or not, 
I didn't come all this way to talk about development and inclusivity, inclusivity in urban infrastructure. No, really. Hmm, shocking, right? You're on the hunt, one could say. What do you have your eyes on? Protection pearls. I've heard a few hush whispers in my library. Folks say the pearls appear in the lonesome lagoon this time of year. Ah, those again. Good hunting, then. Thank you. Though, while the pearls might be my main objective, I hadn't decided to come to town with a singular purpose. I need to ask you for something, innkeeper. A good drink? No. My manuscript, darling. I believe 25 years ago should have been enough time to proofread it, yes? Ah, of course. I was devouring the manuscript almost as soon as you gave it to me. It just took me a while to recall doing so, you see. It's been so long since I definitely got done with that. Lovely! Glad I have such a reliable old friend to proofread my work. Would you like a drink while I try to engage my brain cells and remember where I put it? If you're offering, I'd be pleased to accept. I have something to refresh my mind after my journey. I'll do my best. Could do. I could try a peak sunrise. That'd be cool. But let's play it safe and go ahead and give another. Where the heck is it? There it is. Sparkling Nebula. All that brain power. And then some charisma. Here you go. I've heard about making the perfect drink for you. Ah, I've missed this. Good to see your mixing skills haven't diminished one bit. In fact, I think I might be coming up with an idea for a new story. Let me note this down real quick. Take your time. So, while I enjoyed your mixology, no matter what you put in front of me, I'd enjoy it even more if you could recall the location of my very precious manuscript. You know, the one I'd lovingly worked at for almost half a century, whilst my library came to be? Certainly. It should be just below this pile. No, wait. Oh, wait. I missed it. Oh, no, I must have put it over there, actually. Alright, given the ongoing battle with your organization habits, it might take you a bit longer to recover it. And I have some pearls to get to. So how about this? I'll return around seven days, and then I can tell you all about my pearl hunt in exchange for my manuscript. My proofy, my proofread manuscript. That would be helpful. Good. It was nice seeing you, Inkeep. Likewise, Mithy. A safe and pearlful journey. Ha, ah, I'll try. Seven days should be enough time to read a manuscript, right? Do I have three things? I don't think I do. I definitely don't. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, so unrest. I don't know. I don't know if this is right. Yeah, maybe this is right. I 
I could be wrong. I think that update is it doesn't. The colors don't mean anything anymore. All right, so we're going to end that episode of Tavern Talk here. If you enjoyed it, please let me know, and of course, we'll do more. So, guys, thank you so much for being a guest in the House of Storm, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.